two of the partners behind behind Hill um, actually founded Tata Removery business, and that is that has evolved into what is known as Removery today. And we, we think this is a fascinating story. I, I know plenty of friends of mine have, for decades have talked about, well, not decades, but for the last 10 years have talked about, you know, a great business to invest in would be Tata Removery. Everybody's talked about it, but no one's done it. And people have always talked about the, uh, the pain associated with getting a tattoo removed. And so the market catches up to that eventually, right? The market gets smart, technology gets smart. And these guys, again, could see that thematic evolving. And so they owned it. And they knew it would be a global business, they knew it would be a scalable business, and they knew it would be a repeatable business. And those three defining factors is what makes a great investment, scalable, global, and repeatable. And so when you look at removery, they started the business um, by aggregating a few centres around, around uh, the US, and that has since expanded to nearly 100 stores now across US and Australia, and that's within less than two years. So they're scaling quickly, and now the largest tattoo, remo tattoo remover in providing business in the world. Why we like it is we don't really care what happens with the tattoo craze. In the US at the moment, there's 350 million people. Circa 100 million people have tattoos. By the age of 35, 50 million of them regret actually getting that tattoo. So one would then think once you regret getting the tattoo, you're going to go into your local removery centre and you're going to get that tattoo removed. True, and two thirds of them do that. But the two thirds of them that do that actually get it replaced with another tattoo. So you unfortunately might have just broken up with your ex-lover, but now you've fallen in love with someone else, so it's important to get their name on your arm now instead. And then, you know, history might repeat itself, you fall out of love with that person, have to go in and get another name on your arm. So two-thirds actually get in the tattoo removed to get a new tattoo over the top, because they still love tattoos, and one-third just want it gone completely. But if you think about remover as a whole, and this is why we like the story, is that if the tattoo craze continues, and we think it will, by the way, think about all the celebrities in the world and sports stars, they're all getting more tattoos these days. And they're more accepted in working culture, whereas previously they'd be covered up. But let's just say that tattoos, the tattoo craze does die down and people want to get them removed. Well, where are they going to go? To removery, to get them removed. So either way, removery is in this sweet spot. If the craze continues, great. If it dies down, great. They're going to be sitting front and centre to, um, to service those those individuals as well. So we, we think it's got tremendous scale. And look, Hill's investment in Remove has really been vindicated by Elliott Management. They're a global behemoth in funds management. Um, Hill first invested in Remover in September 2020, and then Elliott Management came in at a premium to that of 40% in January 21, leading a $50 million round. And then recently, both Hill and Elliott went into a, a recent raising where they raised 30 million. They both put 15 million each into removery. So it's about scaling these business and accelerating their growth. What's been more of indication for Hill is that now, as announced in the AFR last week, that um, Elliot have come out and encouraged Hill partners to start a second fund, because the first fund that we've invested in is now hard closed. And they're going to anchor that with a substantial investment and Hill looking to scale that fund to 500 million US. So you know, don't take our word for it, take Elliott Management's word for it, that they've identified how well and impressed, how impressed they were actually with Hill Partners and the way they went about investing, that have given them their own capital and asked them to build a second fund for them in the US. Mark Evans, who's um, one of the founders of Hill, one of the founders of um, Edge and founders of Removery. Um, yeah, Mark went and got a tattoo himself and um, should have mentioned this before, but uh, one thing about getting tattoos removed these days, it's actually, I wouldn't say it's completely pain-free, but it's quite painless. Whereas historically it hurt more to get a tattoo removed than it did actually get a tattoo these days. And what I've been told is it feels like a, you know, just a rubber band flicking your skin. And so therefore the barrier to entry becomes less as well because individuals are more inclined to go and get something done. It's not going to hurt them as much, right? Um, and uh, so, yeah, no, Mark went out there and got himself a tattoo. I'd never asked to see it, but he's gone himself and got a tattoo to, to prove and I guess put his money where his body is <laughs> and, and get it taken off. So uh, yeah, he's a pretty conservative guy, Mark, so it's not the sort of thing that he'd uh, normally go out and do.